Hello everybody, my name is Professor Tribune Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab. And today we are going to be looking at the location of every single country in the world because I know the flag, capital, and name of every single country. So let's see what we can do over here. So first I'll be giving two countries my priority, the United States and Bangladesh. Now first I'll be talking about the United States because it's my motherland. And it's the best and strongest country in every way because it has a giant nuclear arsenal and it's a democracy. So now I'll give you a few seconds to find the U U.S. on a map. It should be pretty easy while I talk about some few details. So the United States has 50 stars on its flag for every single state. And the least populated state is Wyoming with only 500,000 biggest city in New York, uh, New York City to be exact, because it has 8 million people, just in it. Now the capital is Washington DC. Now that I've told you some details, you should have probably figured out where the US is. All right, let's see if you got it correct. So this is the United States. Let's see if we got it correct. US. All right, so now, Let's look at Bangladesh. So this one is a little harder to find, but I believe in my Bangladeshi audience that they know where their own country is on the world's map. Anyways, I'll give you a few seconds while I talk about Bangladesh. So Bangladesh is a tiny Southeast Asian country and it split off from Pakistan during the War of Bangladeshi Independence. Bangladesh is uh, pretty small and basically at the mercy of its neighbor, India. So now that we're finished with that, let's see if you got it right. So this tiny country right over here, that's Bangladesh. Let's see if we got it right, Bangladesh. Now, my third favorite country is India. I went there and the people are very nice and it's also a very nice country to see the nature, it's beautiful. I went there and I teach there. Yeah, I also went there and I taught there and gave a speech. All right, now let's see if you got its location on the map. Should have been pretty easy, seeing it it's seeing as it's one of the biggest countries in the world and it has one of the biggest population. Okay, India. So now let's start in Africa from the Middle East where things are warming up. All right. So let's start with Egypt. Egypt is where the pyramids were built and one of, is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. That's why it's a very popular tourist destination. Its capital is Cairo and it has many kinds of diverse foods. It's Arabic and its main religion is Muslim or Islam. So now that I gave a few facts, let's see if you feel Egypt on the map. All right. Now this, right over here, is Egypt. Let's see if we were correct. All right. Now let's look at the countries that border Egypt. First, we have Libya. It's a moderately poor country, but it has a lot of literacy. And its flag was actually completely green for a time. Its capital is Tripoli. And it was used to be owned by Italy. All right, let's see if you got it correct. This is Libya. Can you figure out where the Sudan is? It had a civil war and its current capital is Khartoum. The civil war caused another country to split off from it, which we'll talk about later, right? Let's see if you got it correct. That is Sudan. All right, so now let's go off. See the country which borders Sudan? Ooh, do we have a visitor? Hey. Okay, let's look at the countries who border Sudan. First of all, we have Eritrea. Eritrea is a country that really mirrors the Middle East. Its capital is Asmara, and its flag looks like a red canton with a yellow symbol on it with green and blue stripe, I think. So now that I've told you those facts, let's see if you found Eritrea on a map or Eritrea you prefer to pronounce it that way. All right, and 
this country is Eritrea. All right, Ethiopia. Ethiopia used to be owned by Italy after Italy colonized Abyssinia. Now, uh, now it is sort of poor, and Ethiopia's uh, capital is Addis Ababa, which is a weird capital. So now let's see if you found it on the map. All right, and this is Ethiopia. All right, now let's look at the other countries that border Sudan. Now, let's see if you can guess this one. This one had a civil war with Sudan and actually split off from it. It's the most recent and youngest country to enter the United Nations. So, let's see if you can find it now. Its capital, by the way, its capital, its name is South Sudan, and its capital is Juba. Sorry, had a blackout. Now, South Sudan has a star on its flag, which is half uncommon. South Sudan. All right, if you got it correct, tell me in the comments below. Otherwise, eh, don't really care. So, now, what is this other country that borders Sudan? So what are these other countries that border Sudan? Well, first of all, there was the Central African Republic. Well, as you can guess, it's in the center of Africa. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, its capital is Bangui, and it's only one of the two countries that have Bang in its name. The other one being Thailand with Bangkok. Being in its capital name, with the other being Thailand, with the capital of Bangkok. All right, let's see if you found it. And it's right over here. All right, now let's go to a country that borders Libya on the south. It's called Chad. Which of these two countries do you think it's Chad? Tell us. Which one do you think it is? Let's get some responses from Mr. Lex Rodriguez. Oh, uh, Albert? Africa. And we have a stupid over here. Anyways, this right over here is called Chad. Oh. And it also borders with it. All right, Chad. Now, let's go to another one. So, let's go to something that borders hmm, Ethiopia. So, there are only three countries which border Ethiopia. This one, this one, and this one. The first I'm going to tell you is Somalia. Somalia just has a star on their flag with a blue background. All right, uh, its, capital, <clears throat> its capital was Magadassu, or Magadishu, I think. So, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong to any of you Africans out there. Now, let's see if you feel Somalia. It's one of the poorest countries in the world, actually. Somalia. That is Somalia. Now, there's one country completely surrounded by countries we've already guessed. Can you guess which country that is? All right. Guess the name. Um, Central Africa. We already guessed that. All right, and let's see if we got our answer. This is Djibouti. So Djibouti is right over here. Okay, Djibouti. Now, let's look at the other countries who will border Ethiopia. So, which one is this? You know, its capital is Nairobi. All right, let's see if you got it. This is Kenya. 